Hello everybody and welcome back to NEMS Plays EU4. We are in our Cologne to the Seas ep uh, episode? No, series. So last episode, uh, we were able to take Munster and a bunch of Oldenburg and Nassau's money. Um, Munster will disappear here shortly. Uh, well, hey, we can do our next idea already, which is sweet. Hostile core creation cost on us goes up. And income from vassals goes up, which we don't have, but we'll also get the, um, uh, the next idea there as well. So core creation goes down, yada, yada, yada. We are currently coring Moonster. And we do not have a current mission for text against Liege, which has 13. We have a force limit of 13, so why don't we go ahead and take that mission, even though we don't really need the recruitment time and whatnot. It's uh, it's just not a bad idea, honestly. Uh, so we're 7, 1, and 3. I will get another knight. Actually, I'll get two more cav, because we just got the increased cav combat ability. So that most recent idea that we snagged was um, cost went down and combat ability went up. We are still dealing with some inflation problems, which I may ask the Pope to help with here. So let's do that. Thank you, Pope man. So now we're reducing that, and we'll also do some interest reduction, which is nice. Um, advisors. I don't want to get too greedy here, but I will take the inflation reduction guy. Uh, I'm not going to do the military guy just right now. Uh, we've got lots more uh, issues with money. So, oh, and I need to mothball my fort. Yeah. All right. So we have completed our mission. Protect against Liege. And we've cored Moonster. Fantastic. Um, come on. Get enough just to move. Mm. So, I'll be honest with you. Given where we were, even just a f three episodes ago, um, and I think I said it while I was in the, you know, in that episode, I thought, well, we might be restarting. We might be done. Um... It's been an easier, I don't want to say easier, it's been a more effective climb back than I thought. Uh, we do need to put some of these guys to work. Let's get France topped off, Poland topped off. Um, Bohemia is the emperor right now, right? And our ally will top them off. And Bavaria, our good buddies, we will top them off as well. We can invest in a new idea. We can continue our Diplo. Diplo rep plus two is pretty powerful. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That's kind of a big deal. Diplo rep really impacts a lot of interactions with the AI. Uh, so now we have a plus three Diplo rep instead of just the plus one. And that will be immensely useful. We are working on... Letting our uh, aggressive expansion burn off. Um, we we're holding a decent amount of land right now. We do have unrest here in Munster. That's okay. Um, Paderborn. Yeah, I forgot. That's not in a. <laughs> unfortunately, it's not in a trade node that we're really doing anything in. So we've topped off Bavaria. Let's start working on the guys right next to us who are all upset. Uh, don't care about our. Uh, rivals so much. Saxony would take an alliance. Who are they rival to? The Hansa, Pomerania, Magdeburg. You know, that's probably not a bad idea. What do you have for a military, Saxony? How useful are you as an ally? Uh, pretty good. So, do I want to go over the relationship limit? Or... Do I break, like, the Holland Alliance? Holland has a good amount of troops. Defensively, they're useful to have. Um, maybe I'll hold off on the Saxony thing for now, but keep that in our back pocket. Uh, and we may do some relations improvements here for a while with them uh, and see what we can do. 
Uh, sure, Bavaria. Where are you headed to? You're at war with Bar. Good for you. Why are you at war with Bar? Baden's at war with Bar. Bar is at war with Trier, Bavaria, Baden, and Heinet. And they are at war because uh, Trier is reconquesting Trier. So do I want unrest in Munster, which already has problems, or do I want to, uh, fine, just increase the autonomy. Fine, fine, fine. Repay another loan or two. When does the next one do? Uh, February in 1515. So I got a few months to save up a little bit of cash. Probably not going to be enough, though. We're going to have to probably start extending loans. The Tide of Primus Germanae, the most important Catholic archbishop throughout the Holy Roman Empire, was created in the 900s when the Archbishopric of Mainz became the first archbishopric to receive it. For the second-rate power to hold such a prestigious title seems an affront to the Catholic Church. Perhaps a more worthy candidate can be found. So, I can suggest myself, which will give us Diplo Rep until... The end. Oh, we'll gain the title. So we get extra prestige and diplo rep plus one for the rest of the game or until they take the title from us. Uh, I can leave it be for now or I could just really make minds happy. Screw that. Give me diplo rep till the end of the game. Man. Minds doesn't like me right now. Um, and that's fine because they're really weak in the grand scheme of things. Um, I may even fabricate on these guys soon. Because um, they're in the same trade node. And they're allied with Bohemia and Nuremberg. And Bohemia is the emperor, so he will not join in an internal war if there's a valid Casus Belli. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my vote to Bohemia so that they stay as the emperor. And I can take some of that land. Uh, let's see. Mines. Who are you out of? Bohemian Nuremberg. So let's let's go ahead and fabricate on mines. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything right now because we still have all this aggressive stuff. But soon that will go away. We could placate Austria. Uh, I do like free monarch points. How pissy pants are they? Uh, it will be difficult because we changed our vote. So we'll go ahead and top them off anyway uh, when we get a chance. And I'll take that just because all the other missions kind of suck. So, yeah. About that. <laughs> What's going on down here? Look at Savoy. Savoy ate what used to be Burgundy. France is not as strong as I would have expected them to be by this point in the game. Um, because High Nut took their old course. Um, except for Normandy. But they took Co and they took Calais and Picardy from, from uh, England. And... Gascon is owned by Castile. Hmm. Who are you allied with? You've got a PU over Aragon and Naples. So the Iberian wedding fired. Brittany, Portugal, and Savoy. That is super interesting. We might see the one of the weaker Frances I've seen in a while. Provence still exists. Uh, Nevers is around. And uh, they've been blocked off from a lot of coast. You know, usually France has gotten up to here by now. Sometimes they'll eat Brittany. They usually take Gascon, and then they'll take Provence after that. So it's still early. It's only 1515, but uh, a little surprising to see where France is right now. Now, over here, um, the Ottomans are fairly standard, I would say. Um, you know, they've kind of reached up into... Southeastern Europe a little bit. Genoa's holding its own. It used to, earlier in the game, I want to say, it was doing better, but 
Uh, Lithuania is looking strong. Um, Muscovy got rid of Novgorod. No big surprise there. Pomerania is unusually strong. And Brandenburg, unusually weak. Uh, Bohemia is... This isn't an abnormal look for them. Um, Italy, obviously Spain now owns Naples and Aragon. So uh, Spain is super strong and frightening. Uh, Papal State's doing pretty well. Who are they allied with? Genoa and Savoy. Well, Savoy got so strong here that um, I think that's the big thing there. Uh, Tuscany, Luca expanded. That's unusual. Uh, not too surprising that with a strong Savoy, Milan is weak. Venice is not doing so hot, and they're under attack. Gain some manpower. Thank you. Um, yeah, Mamluks are doing all right, considering. Uh, again, lose admin power. Uh, Denmark, very strong. They basically already... Uh, um, they integrated Norway. Sweden is still under PU. So Denmark is not going to be weak this game at all. So let's buddy up with them. Uh, we got our claim against Mines. We can rival someone. I think I'm going to go ahead and rival Mines. Um, anyway, just finishing up the look. Uh, we still have an ununified... Ireland and so much. Whoa, Denmark ate Scotland. Look at that. Denmark ate. I mean, Scotland still exists, but not by much. Wow, you do not see that very often. So that's going to be really interesting as Denmark and England are going to be absolutely just at constant conflict. And England is super weak. This is crazy. I've, a weak England and a weak France because. You've got an independent Ireland, fractured but independent. You have uh, Wales, you have Cornwall, you even have Northumberland free, and you have Denmark on the Isle. So that is wild. That's, uh, that's going to be really interesting as we get in the late game. And what it makes me think is there's no, nobody's going to stop uh, nobody's going to stop Spain this game. Spain is scary. Now, Heinet would take an alliance. That's interesting. They are rival to people I don't mind. Allied with a fair amount of folks. Um, Will. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hold on it. Like I, I feel like that's a good alliance. Um, and maybe we could drop Frankfurt. So we'll dissolve this. And we'll add this. Now, the threat there is if France goes after them. We'll probably have to abandon them. But, we'll see. So we're going to repay another loan. Uh, right. so how's inflation... Nice, down in the sixes. Uh, how's our coalition issues? Uh, getting better. Not great. Getting better. It's going to take a little while. We're going to kick it up to speed four. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Protestant Reformation. Lovely. It's here. God, it makes me want to attack Nuremberg. Or maybe that's a good reason to... Can I... I don't think I can declare war on them. But I can declare war on mines. But Bohemia would help them? Why? You're the emperor, man. You're... No, he's not. Yes, he is. Why is he helping him? I am super confused. He should have a modifier because of the emperorness, but he doesn't. It's part of the emperor. Well, so am I. I too am part of the empire. Jerk. In fact, I'm an elector for God's sake. 
Hmm. That's really bizarre. Like, you know, if I attack someone without a cast a spell eye, then you expect it. But if I attack someone I've got um, a legitimate claim on, usually not so much. They have a plus 50. Why is that the case? Hmm. I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> we could declare a war just for uh, just for pure um, what should we call it? Uh, just for money. We could do something like that. So NASA, that's fine. We're fifteen twenty-two as well. Uh, Magdeburg. The haunts are going to become an issue at some point. Um, this is such a weird playthrough. I mean, the haunts have stole land from Denmark, right? But Denmark owns part of the British Isle, for God's sake. I'm so confused. Oh, look at this. They ate Livonia. Almost the entire Livonian order is gone. Um, increase free subjects, so sure, I'll take more morale. Trier, are you nuts? I will squash you. Bavaria is my ally, They're, and so is Heinet. They're not going to help you. Maybe I should fabricate a claim on him so that if he's dumb enough to attack me, I can take his land. Let's do that. All right, let's uh, make nicey nice with general people. We're no longer Magdeburg's rival. Fair enough. So I'm going to improve my. Wow, you you went from rivaling me to wanting to be my buddy. That is odd. They only have two allies. Maybe that's part of the reason for it. Um, we're just going to throw some generic relations improvements around. Trying to get the... Trying to wait for this to get down. Uh, do I want loose stability or loose stability? Loose stability, loose stability. Uh, I'll, ugh, I'll take the cost going down. So aggravating. So there we go there. And I'm just going to boost it up to one. Ah, so irritating. Falling behind on tech, but it's the only place I don't have an idea right now, so, um, you know, there's that. Bum, bum, bum. Man, high nut is no joke. Some manpower. National manpower modifier plus 25%. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. What um, what policy, I wonder, are we going to be able to get? So diplomatic plus aristocratic. I didn't even look at this. Oh, crap. Um, let's look at this first. Diplomatic plus aristocratic is uh, devotion. Wow, that's lame. <laughs> All right. So... Saxony is attacking Bavaria. And they're allied with a whole bunch of people. So let's give it a few seconds. Uh, who are you fighting, Saxony? Bavaria, Memmingen, Ravensburg, and Trier. And you are fighting Saxony, Nuremberg, Brandenburg, and Augsburg. Uh, you know, I might actually take this. Sure. Um, we'll accept. Let's get our fleet, our army maintenance up. And I'm going to unmothball for now, but if it doesn't look like anyone's coming, I'll unmothball. So, Saxony, Augsburg, Brandenburg, Nuremberg. 
Dun 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 dun. And oh, that's not gonna look. That doesn't look good. Here comes Brandenburg Nuremberg. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be painful. Let's go see if we can stop that army. <laughs> we did. And now they're running away to who knows where. Stompy stomp. Let's go take out Nuremberg. Uh, we can get another idea. Province war score costs minus 20%. And we'll also get fort defense. So, sure. And... They just lost a battle. Uh, we do need to get Nuremberg out sooner than later. So let's just try to get this siege done ASAP. Uh, that fight's not going to go well once Saxony arrives. So who else is in there? Augsburg, Brandenburg, Nuremberg. Okay, I might go to Brandenburg after this. Just going to try to whittle down the amount of troops we're facing rather than keep trying to fight this thing. Alright, so they're out. Um, Brandenburg. Let's go to Brandenburg. <laughs> Just my siege guy? Yeah. Wait a minute. I thought Brandenburg was in this war. He is. Uh, so why can't I... Uh... I'm confused. Oh, I'm black flagged for some reasons. Uh, well, how about you just give me access? I'm so confused. How did I get black flagged? Saxony didn't peace out. Oh, is it because I was standing in Nuremberg when they pieced him out? That's probably what it was. Mm hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Prestige, I'll take it. And now, let's split, split, take the non, there we go, split, and there. See if we can't uh, encourage the Brandenburgians to leave this little war. So I think once Brandenburg's out, uh, we should be able to wrap this thing up. We're making pretty good progress over here. Um, we got a food shortage, which is good. We have breached the walls, which is good. Um, plus three artillery bonus, not bad. Back to positive cash, also good. And they're about to be completely sieged out in Saxony. So once this siege is over with, uh, they should be able to get Brandenburg out, and then uh, then Saxony will be done for. And Augsburg's down there. That should be no big deal. In fact, once Brandenburg's out, the whole war should be pretty much over with. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to not just fight them. <laughs> And once again, I'm black flagged. Thanks. Thanks for piecing me out so fast that I black flag. 
And there goes all of Saxony. And Augsburg is being sieged. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, so they're going to keep chasing them around. Uh, oh, there we go. War is over. So, uh, I said before I really don't like to do um, to do it where we, uh, we fail to participate in a war. And we got to participate in a war, which I think is pretty cool. Take this admin sec. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please put a like down below or subscribe if you haven't. And please, any constructive feedback is welcome. Um, please just put some comments down below. Uh, in the meantime, I've been your host, Nems, with Burke Crew Studios. Have a great one.